All right, Shalom. Before I begin this video, all the praise, honor, and glory goes into Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Hav Rakak Wadash. The bond is to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Rule well, teach well, and the sincere salutations to you, hopeful elect Akim out there, man, who are pushing this word in sincerity and in faith. All right, so uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, I came across this article Fox 5, New York. Okay, we um we almost up out of here, man. We almost up out of here, and then you know, uh, people like to say that we sound like a broken record. You damn right. We gonna keep we gonna keep talking about this, cause it keep it keep popping up. You would you would think you would think that uh, uh you know that this wouldn't keep popping up. You would you would think that. Yet the Lord, you know, really has this uh. Really has this this chip, and uh, being uh, proclaimed to the whole world, man. Okay, it's like an echo, <laughs> you know. This is something that's been spoken about, and it's it's just reverberating. It's just coming back again and again and again. <clears throat> Biohacking humans, people implanting chips in hands and heads, right? Which is the MOTB. Uh, it says from a subdermal microchip in one's hand to a tiny robot learning to imagine itself and its own purpose to a tiny microprocessor implanted directly on one's brain. The line between man and machine is blurring, which that's the um, that's the that's the wicked imagination of E. OK, <clears throat> and the only reason why it's a wicked imagination is because the self-proclaimed white man is pushing it out now since this ultimately is uh the doing of the heavenly father it's actually the right thing to happen it's actually the right thing to do because in order for us to be in the kingdom right in order for israel to uh you know be established as a top nation uh on the earth this has to happen so really this is a good thing right the mot to the bizzle is is a good thing to happen Okay, <clears throat> says it's a it's a technological advancement that seems incomprehensible a generation ago and now appears inevitable. So beforehand, this was something that uh, nobody could imagine. Okay, now uh, prior to coming into the truth, uh, ye years before coming into the truth. Uh, when I was in like uh, maybe uh, late middle school, early high school, uh, you actually had your boy uh, uh, AJ, right? You actually had your, your boy uh, uh, Jones. He was uh, speaking about the uh, um, uh, the micro potato chip. Now. It wasn't until later on, years and years down the line, that, you know, this is revealed as the MOT to the B through the Elder Apostles of Great Millstone. Now, the Elder Apostles of Great Millstone have been speaking about uh, the MOTB f for decades. So they knew. E even back in the 90s, they knew that this, uh, this micro potato chip was the MOTB. See, but uh, some of us have heard about uh, this chip. Like I said, when I was uh, in high school, I heard uh, about this chip, but I didn't know that it was the MOTB because that's not something that uh, was revealed through the spirit and power behind by Shemiah Shai till, you know, later on in life. You know, which call hello, Yahweh by Shemiah Shai by Shem Kakwadash. Because when. <clears throat> The breakdown of the MOTB uh, came, you know, came up in a video. I, I fully believed, you know, but we were told that, you know, we we truly did believe that. We truly do believe that, you know, just like the the chariots when we first found out. Okay, 
what the world calls a UFO, that's actually uh, a chariot. That's actually a vehicle of the angels of the Heavenly Father. We were like, okay, that, that makes sense, right? Because we always, you know, and brothers have always uh, been interested in these, you know, different topics and things like that, even before coming into the truth. And the, and the Lord does that on purpose, right? The Lord does that on purpose. A lot of us prior to coming into the truth, we were, um, quote unquote, uh, truthers and whatnot. We just didn't have uh, the spirit working with us. So it, it, you know, you you can know all these things, but if the spirit and power be high by Shemia Shai, you know, isn't uh, uh, working with you, then get, none of this is going to make any sense. But now, you know, the Lord's will that that spirit stays with all of us, you know. We, we now see, we can now understand what's going on, what's taking place, right? It says, from a microchip implanted subdermally, which is under the skin, to a ancillacia, but, you know, that, that, my, that uh, uh, MOT to the bizzle being put up under your skin, you basically being tagged. You're being um, you're being branded, so to speak. All right, it says to a robot learning to imagine itself in its own purpose, which that's wicked in and of itself. Right, it's it's creating its own purpose. You know what I mean? That's going against the heavenly Father, right? Because the heavenly Father has a purpose. For, for for every single person here on earth, right? The wicked is supposed to be the wicked, okay? The, the heathen is supposed to be the heathen, and the righteous is supposed to be the righteous. That's their purpose. So you got this program learning to imagine itself to have its own purpose. That's going in opposition of the Heavenly Father, all right? Uh, continuing. And a tiny microprocessor implanted directly on the brain, which you already know that's part of the MOT to the B. Okay. Our lives are going to be intertwined with robots and AI increasingly in complex ways that we can't even imagine today, said Columbia University engineering and data science professor Hod Lipson. So this isn't a... You know, this is just isn't some guy who, you know, pours concrete or nothing like that. This is that's, you know, he this guy is deep in the world, an uh, engineering and data science professor. OK, from Columbia University, that's, a, you know, that's a quote unquote prestigious place. Which really all those pl all those places, man. That's just what you learn in uh, uh, E's philosophy. It ain't nothing special. Okay, it says he describes it as the inevitable fusing of the physical and digital worlds. In his robotics lab on the Manhattan campus, groundbreaking projects are underway. We want robots to understand what they are, how they move, how they operate. So basically making them uh, uh, self-sufficient. Conscious, con conscious, so like you, awake. All right. That's that's wild. It says it's sophisticated machine learning, allowing the robot to literally wake up and discover itself. So, on the left hand side, that's that, um, that's that left handed breath. Be, being uh, breathed uh, into that robot, right? Because on the right hand, the, the Heavenly Father, through His Son, right, has showed us the way, has showed us all all things through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahshai. And on the left hand, right, what's being breathed, what's being uh, breathed into this AI, right? Knowledge, but on the le on the left hand side. Because the uh, the this AI and whatnot can't break down the scriptures. Okay. 
that, and there's a significance to that too. Here it is, you know, these different machines can uh, do a uh, uh, an equation that takes you know eighty years for, for a human to solve. It can solve it in you know point two seconds, but they don't know the scriptures. Okay. It says, with that knowledge, it can imagine itself into the future. He says, so once again, their their plan is to just basically have uh, every single person on a grid. And you just basically be a slave. It's just, that's not happening, man. It says, it's an extinction of human thought. Who Whose thought? E. It's an, ex it's an extinction of the damn devil. The self-proclaimed white man is the damn devil. This this what he coming up with. Okay. It says allowing mankind and machine to exist more efficiently. Robotics used to be something like, okay, maybe you had a vacuum cleaning robot. <laughs> you step over it, you move on, but now it's going to be everywhere, right? The uh, internet of things. So you got smart TV smart vacuum smart refrigerator that knows when okay when you run out of milk it's just going to automatically order you some milk smart doors that know who went in who went out smart locks that you can lock and unlock from from work or from your car you know smart cars you know smart shoes right you got self-lacing shoes smart uh lights you know they automatically cut on when you walk into the room smart smart everything everywhere okay and these different companies have got caught um recording people like you got certain tvs that it, it can uh scan your body infrared <laughs> you know it can see through your clothes That's sick, man. That's sick. And that, that's e, that is E's mindset. He wants to know everything at all times. He wants to be like the most high, man. All right, it says, there's drones. There's drones this. You're going to trust your life to a self-driving car. You're going to trust the life of your children to a robot. I mean, this this is this was unthinkable just a few years ago and it's inevitable so you see there you go e once again th thinking he know the future okay it says if that's a nuanced concept of man's evolution with machines what brandon daly is doing is much more direct and this nuanced concept of man's evolution it really that's the so-called white man that's what he believes uh, in advance society is. When in reality, the Lord wants things way more simple. Okay? We don't need all that. We're not going to have no damn cyborgs in the, in the kingdom. Okay? People have called me cyborg and everything, which I think is pretty funny. And I mean, I guess they could be accurate. The 41-year-old said, I mean, technically, both my hands can communicate with different types of computers. So, the nigga proud. Okay, he decided to become a part machine by having chips implanted inside both hands. He can now start his Tesla, open his home door, and in the future, even replace his wallet with the swipe of his hand. The M O T to the Bizzle. That man, that's what it is. The M O T to the B. I wanted to be able to leave my house with no house key, no car key, no wallet, and still be able, still be able to carry out my everyday activities like I normally would. Biohacking your own body opens up endless possibilities we're at the dawn of this he said it's slowly working its way up so, so he's saying this is just the beginning okay 
it's the type of technology once considered sci-fi that may be working its way into your workplace. And best believe, hey, <laughs> one day you're going to go to your job. They're going to say, okay, we don't have uh, badges anymore. You know, we, we just want you to take this uh, device and, uh, you know, put it in your hand. In which we're going to say, hell no. You, you already know what time it is. Hell, hell no. Okay. Uh, Erkin Ad, Ad, Adilov says his company uses AI to help companies sort through tens of thousands of emails uh, looking for threats. It's, it's highlighting the ability of AI to improve natural, natural human potential. So once again, E has this thing of telling you that I, I want to help improve you. I want to help improve what's already here. Okay. And all this money, all these billions of dollars that's going towards the, uh, this, this sort of technology that can be used to actually uh, uh, build up the world. But that's, that's not what E wants. That's what you think. You thick skull jakes don't understand. This nigga is not trying to help you. He's trying to bring you down. Okay, it says it's not actually about replacing humans with a machine. It's actually creating a symbiosis between the two. The mind and the machine are being intertwined like never before. You can find it in the unique technology from companies like sync like synchron right uh, so when you sync something it's in unison right cron i believe uh cron they're referring to like chronological order you know time All right so they they're link they're linking up everything they want to make you one 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 with this technology uh, it says they've developed a tiny, a tiny brain implant called a a stingtrode, enabling patients to wirelessly control digital devices through thought. Designed for people suffering from paralysis, and that's part of those miracles. That's part of those miracles taking place. Are you gonna have people with left hand uh, getting getting healed of diseases on the left hand side? With with Slakia, with left-handed technology. Oh, here, here's a reiteration. They're telling you this is the second guy to say this. Company co-founder says this is just the beginning. That's it. All right. At the moment, we're looking at recording information to allow people to control things. Certainly in the future, there's no reason we can't start putting information back. And that might be similar to some products. And uh, I'm, I'm not going to read that because, you know, but you can read it right there. Because, yeah, E, e lately has been, uh, you know, if you if you basically say any of these words at the bottom, if you say, uh, you know, if you say this, you know, you basically can't even say this word no more, you know, or they start tri they start tripping on, on you, you know, on the transmission, man. So I'm going to just go ahead and scroll back up. All right, so that you know that's the important part. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to the scripture speaking speaking on that. All right, so this is the book of Revelation, chapter thirteen, verse sixteen. Well, actually, let me read up. All right, so this is Revelation chapter 13, and verse 1. It says, And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, 
and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. So E, so E from the jump has, uh, E from the jump has had these basically these uh, these families and these nations, right? As a as a uh, as a conglomerate, right? What you would call a conglomerate. Okay, these these uh, these devils have basically uh, combined into a beast. That's why you know the EU, NATO. That's the beast. Okay, and these these seven heads and these ten horns, they're all uh, you know it's that's all E. Okay, that's all of all of them. That's E. Okay, it says, the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. So, you know, through the uh, blessing of the self-proclaimed white man, right, this has been set up from the jump. Okay, when you had uh, Alexander the Great, back during the times of Alexander the Great, he was able to do all those great conquests and things like that. Why? Because the Lord set him up that way, right? So you have these diff you have the you have these different um uh, groups, right? Like E E U NATO, right? You have these different groups that have been set up basically to rule. Right, for ferocious. Okay, like unto a leopard, like unto a bear. Right, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. So they're they're in the ruling they're in the ruling seat. Right, they're like unto the leopard. They are like unto uh, Alexander the Great in, in the in the conquest. Okay, he he ruled a good portion. Um, he ruled a good portion of the of the world at one point. Let me get that too. All right, so it says uh, Alexander the Great, a Macedonian king, conquered the Eastern Mediterranean, Egypt, the Middle East, and parts of Asia in a remarkably short period of time. His empire ushered in significant cultural changes in the lands he conquered and changed the course of the region's history, and really that changed the course of the world. All right, those different um, those different philosophies that came with him ruling, because he was he was he was a damn devil. All right, his father was a damn devil. Okay, he comes from he comes from a line of devils, and in that short amount of time, he was able to rule. Okay, so. And it says his his conquests course from Greece to India to Babylon. So you know he's from Macedonia. Okay. So the Greece. All right, all this area. And this is what uh, these places were called, uh, you know, back, uh, back in those times, right? Cappadocia, uh, Mesopotamia, Egypt, Babylonia, Media, Jedrosia, Bactria, Persia, right? All, all up in there, man. And see, not only, see, not only did he do that, he actually had different places that he named after himself multiple times, right? Like you have uh, here, Alexandria. Another place called Alexandria. Another place called Alexandria. Another place called Alexandria. 
Alexandria, Alexandria, Alexandria. He's the damn devil, man. You can see that his, you know, he had different routes uh, and different battles to establish uh, this empire. Right, but anyways, verse three, and I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death and his deadly wound was healed and all the world wandered after the beast. So at one point, you know, during the establishment of, you know, the Roman Empire, which uh, all this, if it wasn't for Alexander the Great, Greece wouldn't have been set up to be what it was. And then Rome uh, wasn't wouldn't be set up to be uh, what it was. OK, because that's part of those heads. That's part of you know, going back up. Right. That's part of those seven heads. Right. I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death and his deadly wound was healed because, hey, you know, 2,000 plus years later, now you have this place, which basically is just Rome, but it's, it's revitalized. And it says, and the world wandered after the beast. And they worshiped the dragon, which gave power unto the beast, right? So you, you worship this damn devil, Right? Two thirds of Israel, you other nations. It says, and they worship the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast, and who is able to make war with him? And they say that now. They say that to this day. Just like how they said about Rome. Nobody can stop Rome. Uh, Rome, is the, Rome is the greatest power ever. That's the same thing that they say uh, about Babylon. It says, And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. And power was given unto him to continue 40 and two months. You know, so a, a certain amount of time. And he opened his mouth and blasphemy against Yahweh Shai to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. So you set, your, you set yourself up as the premier power. You set yourself up as God. All right? Speaking about the self-proclaimed white man. You set yourself up as the tabernacle of the Lord. Okay, you set yourself up as the men. Okay, and like uh, the elder apostle Tahar was going into, only E can be uh, found guilty of blasphemy. You may just see you, you put yourself in God's shoes. Can't do that. You, you speaking like you the most high. Okay, it says, verse 7, And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them, and power was given him over all kingdoms and tongues and nations. See, hey, and you already know. You know, look look at us. Look at us right now. We basically, we, we need the Lord. We need, that's the only way we getting up out of this. This devil ruling over everybody. Verse 8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Alright, so basically, if you're not of the elect, you're going to worship this beast. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So the self-proclaimed white man has led us Right, the Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you speckled birds who look like the other nations, but your line actually goes back to Israel, has led you into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So that's what we have to hope for. Right, the Lord coming back <clears throat> and putting your ass in subjection.